Welcome back here. So this is the time of show where we talk about what everyone's talking about. Yep. And it is really the stage three reopening. Who's in, who's out, who got left behind, but some places saying not left behind. We're actually very happy to be here. So that's including Toronto, Peel and Windsor, Essex, which we know they have some uh, issues with some of the migrant workers there, some of those who work in the agri agribusiness. Um, we're personally both very happy that we're going to remain in yeah. that stage two. Better right? to be cautious rather than see the escalation in numbers as we've seen in the States when it's too quick to get back to a more of a normal yeah. too soon and then it just causes the community spread and right? that's the thing because with stage three it reopens things like bars indoor dining yeah. um, gatherings can increase at 50 indoor 100 outdoor still physically distanced but you can still have that amount of people mm -hmm. um, just a reminder here when we talked to the niagara falls mayor who confirmed on our show those casinos are not reopening come friday it doesn't make sense for them right? right if you can only have 50 indoors it's a huge capacity space does not make sense to reopen how do you wipe everything down how do you make sure people are keeping a distance how are you you know that one person's not sitting down and touching the buttons of one slot machine once it's been used there's so many potential problems a hundred percent and so i think this really when we look at those numbers here especially the trending numbers when it comes to the ages the 20 to 39 age group we are yeah. seeing majority of new infections coming in this age group so that speaks to lifestyle as well, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. On places that are opening. We talked about this earlier, people going to the bars and maybe having parties and whatnot. Yeah. So again, uh, we will hopefully learn more in the coming week about when Toronto, Peel, Windsor, Essex can potentially move on. But for now, we're staying put. And we're watching our numbers as we should yeah. because we want to keep them below 200 so that hospitals can deal with the influx of patients and not get overwhelmed. And as you mentioned yeah. earlier, 20 to 29 year olds or 20 to 30 year olds have been the main um, new sources of COVID uh, testing positive is that demographic. So it's something to look out for where you might feel invincible, but then you might That's be it. taking it to people you love who are compromised. And those are the actual words from Doug Ford, our premier, who said you may feel like you're invincible, yeah. but think about the long term effects and everyone else you're visiting. So definitely That's something it. we're keeping a very close eye on. Yeah. Also, working from home, will that be <laughs> the new normal? Uh, a new Canadian study is shining light on that. 68% revealing the lockdown experience has shown working from home with the right technology, that's key, is actually more productive than working from the office. Now, only 55% would like to work from home, even though we're saying that. 42% um, would like to see more flexible work models, allowing them to switch between the office and their home. And I think that's it. Balance is key. Mm -hmm. Where you still get to see your family, your team members, um, there's that balance. So you could be home if you need to, depending on what happens with the school system in the fall. That's key, yeah. You get to have that say or that flex mm -hmm. as to whether you're going to be, you know, showing some FaceTime at work. Or working from home depending 100% on I needs. think the school system will be a major determining factor yes. on what employers are going to say because if you don't have child care how do you restart the economy properly oh yeah it, and it, what if you have more than one child and then they're on alternate days of when they can go to school it's it's a logistical nightmare for parents that's it so we're gonna watch what's happening with schooling but then what was interesting because we had this guest on uh, talking about this survey at 630 this morning and a lot of people said you know what they're finding more efficient ways to do things because so you're saving time on commuting for a lot of people yeah. And so what are you using that time for? Maybe you're a little bit more productive when you're sitting down at your desk with the right technology right. to do your work. But what you are missing out on is that human interaction and the collaborative. There's nothing like in person. Like this is it's true. This is like this is the first time in months that we've been that able we've to really chat. Yeah. And it's different, you know, splitting split screen, you know, or Zoom calls or whatnot yes. versus something in person. So it makes a world of difference. And I know here, I mean, it's kept us sane to be able to yeah. go somewhere, have a purpose, talk to other humans, not just on zoom calls because while that helps it's it's not the same as no. being face to face and i know here you know julia who's not here working the camera this week i think she has it off she was like thank god i'm back at work i i crave the social uh, portion of work. She craved that interaction. Yeah. And on know? the flip side, though, sometimes the social takes over the work and right. then some people don't become as produ right. productive. So uh, interesting survey here, but not too, too surprising. Uh, I want to show you this video. Um, this is something that's making the rounds on TikTok. And this is uh, allegedly an 18 year old teenager. I don't know if you've seen this one yet. And we just showed I it to I break saw there. something earlier. Yes. Yeah. Sault Ste. Marie dressed up as a senior citizen, wow. went to a local LCBO and they filmed all of this and they were able to purchase alcohol. And not only that, um, you, the, one of the staff actually offered to carry the alcohol uh, to, with this person. Now, we did reach out to Sault Ste. Marie police. We'll let you know. Uh, they've yet to hear. We've yet to hear back from them. The LCBO saying they're taking this very seriously. They just gave us a statement mm -hmm. saying that the selling of beverage alcohol responsibly seriously and they've maintained the policy 
agencies, they are actually allowed to ask people to remove some um, masks or anything if they need uh, age verification, which they didn't if do in suspect. this case. That's right. So you'll see this making the rounds, but there is something very serious to this if this becomes a trend. Yeah, don't think you're going to, you know, this is a funny prank for your TikTok videos and that you're going to follow suit. You can get in big trouble for all the stuff that these people were involved in here. So, yeah, lesson learned. Don't do as they did. Thanks, Mel. We'll be back with more BT right after this.